right, today, guys, we're going to go over this Chinese HEI distributor put in. It's been about seven years running with it, and I'll tell you what I ran into, what advice I got, how did I wire it up, and show you some pictures over the years. So basically, we started with an older distributor. We had a lot of problems because right now we have the two barrel on there with the adapter but we had the one barrel with the computer and then a bunch of different cables that went through vacuum lines all that didn't work so then we came took this guy out and put in this one so very easy install we removed the computer on this after we move the computer we have just this switch box right here which I believe is just like a light for lights or anything but this is what we've been running the whole time so I'll show the diagram of what I use but right here I can see I have this line it's red this is going as a ground okay the next one will trace back this right here is going to be going to the distributor on the right side where it says battery. The next one to the bottom of that is going to be the battery wire. So this wire runs all the way across. And I know it's this guy right here. Battery wire. Power for it. And then the last one that a lot of people ask about is the coil. So this small wire goes over to what used to be the coil you know the one that was in this area so this coil wire it's yellow it runs through and you can see I still have all this stuff all the old wires I hadn't really cleaned up yet even there's some in the back but I know it's this connected from the computer sometime I'll pull all those out you know it's only been seven years so maybe one day but that's the basics of it the main thing about these the troubles that I had was the module so this is the extra module I keep just in case um, just to get me home it's not a really good one it's really cheap but I have a good good one inside that I had to replace so about three months into it this piece already went bad went online got me a I think it's a flamethrower one replace that inside real easy to replace and then you're gonna see a picture I'm gonna put up here is the actual gear so the gear got damaged on this and I had to take the gear off put a new pin and then I was good to go again but it did leave me stranded so that happened about after about seven years so probably about three months ago it happened so all in all and the whole time I think I gave $70 initially for this I spent about thirty forty dollars on this and then the pin to replace was basically nothing it's just a small pin that goes into the the gear so all in all not bad much cheaper has lasted so far and if I had to replace it again you know another hundred bucks get another one to put in there but runs really well way better than the computer ever thought about running um, also, it does have an advance vacuum advance goes to that carburetor. It would go on the one barrel too if you're still running one barrel. If you have a computer controlled uh, one barrel, just go ahead and get one off an older truck that did not have it. That way, you'll be able to tune your carburetor. And then also right here, we finally got uh, able to do our own timing with this because with the old distributor, we couldn't do timing because of the carburetor. There was a lot of not the carburetor, but the computer. There's a lot of stuff that wouldn't allow us to do that. It made the truck run really bad because all the vacuum lines, everything like that, no longer were functional. But all in all, that's what we have. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments.